If it's Tuesday, it's got to be terrain. Hi guys, Wes from Broken Brush Gaming here with another look at the Witch Fate Tour. This week we've just about finished it up. Came through and added in some last bits of color to the top of the fourth floor. As you can see, all of the twin-tailed comets along the spires are done in gold. And then we have the three sigils that we did in green, blue, and red. For the green, those are all the hammers that go around. The blue is the hourglass and the red is the silver and gold cross that we did. Those three symbols repeat in that order four times around the top of the tower. On the inside, we finished up the trap doors, one here that's open and one there that's closed. And that's the fourth floor completed. Um, there's a lot more detail that you could go into paint on this, but right now it looks table ready. It looks really good on the table. I've had one game with it um, in this painted state and I really like the way that it's just a huge piece of terrain right on the table. Uh, so now we'll put it all together and show you what the whole tower looks like. All right, guys, here is the Witch Fate Tour all put together. As you can see, it's an absolutely massive piece of terrain, adds a ton of character to your battlefield. If you can get your hands on one of these sets, I highly recommend it. At the end of the video, I'm gonna put some still shots from the light box up just so we can show off this tower um, with some proper lighting and just a little bit more detail. Uh, this will finish up the Witch Fate Tour series and coming up we'll be doing work on the terrain from the Shadow War Armageddon box. So we'll have a few weeks of Shadow War Armageddon terrain coming up over the next couple of weeks. I hope you guys enjoyed the series on the Witch Fate Tour. If you did, throw us a like on the video and a subscribe on the channel. And as always, we'll see you guys in the next video.